Wow! <laughs> That's really clean, huh? <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> no good, huh? Hi, this is Nathan from Jim's Car Detailing. Uh, welcome back to our how-to channel. Um, today we're going to be showing you how to do an exterior clean. We've already done an interior clean. If you're interested in that video, please click on the link and away we go. It's good to actually protect your hands as well, um, so you can get you can get uh, any kind of uh, nitrile gloves. Uh, that it's good for uh, chemical resistance, and it's, and it's good to protect your skin. So these are a few things that you need to wash your car. First of all, you need a good soap. Um, doesn't have to necessarily be this. You can get it from any of the car stores, um, as long as it's a wash and wax. Get yourself a good microfiber um, mitt. The only reason we say microfiber is so that it doesn't actually scratch as much. There's less chance it's going to leave any uh, scratches on your car. When you're drying the car, this is a microfiber drying towel and also a decent uh, high pressure cleaner. It doesn't have to be to this caliber. Um, this, is a, this is a bigger one for professional use, but for, if you're going to use it every couple of weeks, then one of the small ones from any hardware store, that's fine. Also, you need a good wheel cleaner. A good wheel cleaner is good for the brake dust on your car. Um, the reason why we say this is it's one of the parts that gets neglected the most and it's really hard to get off after it gets really built up. So get yourself a good wheel cleaner. First thing that we're going to do is uh, clean the rims. All you need to do is just uh, give it a good uh, lather of um, chemical and let that actually start working. Now here's a tip for you as well. When you actually put this wheel cleaner on the wheels, especially in summer, don't let it sit because it can actually mar the, the rim and actually damage the rim. So you need to be quick about it. So once it's actually started working, you need to be able to clean it off. So as that's sitting, the rims have already been sitting with the chemical on it, so they already started working. Now would be a good time to clean the rims. When you're actually using a brush on cleaning the rims, it's probably not a good idea to use them on the ones that are actually uh, uh, high gloss that have got a clear coat on them because you can actually scratch them. These are actually quite harsh. Um, these rims are okay because they, they aren't the, the high gloss. And if they are, if that is the case and you are going to clean those ones, then just use a microfiber cloth. So now that we've actually pre-soaked and we've cleaned the rims, now it's just to rinse it all off. So next step would be to actually clean the car. Um, you can actually get these sponges from any of the hardware stores. These aren't ideal for washing your car just because they can actually scratch your car. If you're going to actually do it, grab, one, grab a uh, microfiber uh, wash mitt, um, that less chance of actually scratching the car. Now the right way to clean your car is the two bucket method. The reason why we do this is the less chance you're going to actually use the dirt from the car. Uh, and that goes onto your wash mitt and it's going to scratch your car. So one bucket for your soap and one bucket to rinse the mitt. So now that we've actually cleaned the car, all you've got to do is just rinse it off. The next step after uh, rinsing the car is just obviously drying it down. Uh, again, don't use a chamois, it's a higher chance of scratching the car. There are plenty of different uh, drying towels out on the market, so just grab whichever one you want. As long as it's microfiber, then you should be fine. Thanks for watching. This is just a short video on how to effectively wash the exterior of your car, with a few tips and tricks thrown in. If you liked the video, please click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.